is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have a very special video sort of a tutorial for you guys and sort of a fig hack and a little bit of everything thrown into one video you guys clicked on this you know what you're getting yourselves into um, before we get into things we do have four competitors right here we have john morrison no way jose kevin owens and Bobby Trashley or Bobby Lashley. He's not very trash on the pick fed, or at least uh, I, I don't book him as bad as WWE does. But anyways, getting straight into it, we have the Extreme Champion Kevin Owens and at the MDT Royal Rumble coming very soon. You know, we got an episode of Vindication and then an episode of MDT Live left. But at the MDT Royal Rumble, we have a fatal four-way death match between these four participants for the MDT Extreme Championship. And I figure what better way than to go into this thing than with some barbed wire, right? It's a, it's a a death match, man. You guys are going to get bloody. Guys are going to get beat the hell out of. And today I'm going to teach you how to get some barbed wire, custom made barbed wire and realistic barbed wire for your WWE action figures. Right here we have some custom made weapons. Obviously I mixed together Mattel's weapons with the barbed wire, but we're going to go through everything and everything you need to create these weapons and to create barbed wire for your WWE figures. I'm going to show you the exact process I did to make these weapons and everything in between. So let's go ahead and get started started. While I'm at it, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Prime Wrestling on Instagram and YouTube. He's an absolute beast pick fetter. He has a very interesting pick fed. Um, he used to do this thing called King of the Deathmatch. He's had two different episodes. I think one from 2015 and one from 2016 and it really inspired me to create these weapons and this stuff. So I hit him up and I was wondering because he used a bunch of custom weapons and really awesome things in his pick fed guys. Really off the chain stuff. You need to go to his YouTube channel and his Instagram. Give him a follow. Really good pick Fetter, like I said, but I hit him up and I said, bro, how did you make that barbed wire? And this is what he told me, Brad. He told me to go to, uh, or he didn't tell me where to go, but he said that it's called soldering wire. And I, I looked it up on Amazon and sure enough, you can get this big roll of soldering wire for $9 shipped if you have Prime and maybe $12 if you don't have Prime. But what it is, is it's literally this silver wire on this this holder right here and it's wrapped all the way around. I don't know how many feet exactly this is, but uh, I honestly, I probably would have gotten a thicker, if I knew exactly you know how thick it was, I probably would get a tad thicker than this. I think this is six millimeter or 0.6 millimeter. I would like to have like 0.8 or 1.0 millimeter, but it still totally works. And what this is, is it's just really bendable, moldable wire. I think they use this to clean pipes or wire stuff in homes like electric. I don't really know exactly what they use it for, but um, you can get this on Amazon. I don't know if you can get it in store. Maybe Lowe's or maybe, I, I don't think Hobby Lobby or Walmart had it. Maybe Walmart, but I think Lowe's would probably be your best bet or Home Depot, something like that with, you know, uh, everything. But it's called soldering wire and you cut it into strips and you wrap it around things to make barbed wire or WWE action figure weaponry. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you off these weapons right here. The first weapon that we have is this kendo stick wrapped in barbed wire. You guys can see right there. I took my uh, soldering wire. I cut it to size. I wrapped it up. I'm going to show you later in the video exactly how I wrapped it up. But uh, you guys can see here we have a kendo stick. I don't know if these weapons will be used in the, you know, in the death match. I'm not sure exactly how that match is going to be booked just yet. So I'm not sure exactly how that's going to go. So who knows if these weapons will be used. I just sort of threw these together so you guys will, so I can teach you guys how to do this and, and just sort of demonstrate how it's done. So there's the kendo stick. I made this completely custom. This is not a Mattel weapon. I took a popsicle stick, chopped the ends off here, and then just took some of that soldering wire and wrapped it around. So now I have a barbed wire 2x4 and that is exactly what that is right there you guys can see very easy stuff took a popsicle stick which you can get for what a dollar two dollars at Hobby Lobby or Walmart snipped it off with these scissors right here and this is the same scissors I used to cut, cut the soldering wire so I cut it, it it cuts very easy and what makes the soldering wire so great is that it's very bendable like guys if you tried to do this with uh is it jewelry wire or you know like things that people make to make bracelets and and all that good stuff it would literally it, it it's too thin it doesn't mold it's real loose and elastic this is very stiff it's very moldable it's bendable it doesn't break very easy you know if you took a paper clip and you tried to make these weapons it would be very difficult you would hurt your fingers and stuff it's not thick like that and plus paper clips will break in half you guys know that if you keep bending paper clips and keep bending them and twisting them back and forth they will break these do not break this soldering wire is so moldable and bendable and playable it is not going to break so it's very easy it doesn't stab you to death like other things it will not cut you it's very very easy like look at this 
it it's bit like it's so nice. I, I think Prime is an absolute lifesaver, and this is an absolute fig, fig hack for you guys. And he's going to be getting a shout out in multiple videos because we're going to be doing a lot of these videos, custom weapons and stuff like that, and and fig hacks moving forward with your WWE action figures that me and him talked about. And I can't wait to get this series started. And this is this is sort of our first episode here. But uh, moving on, we do have another weapon, and all it is is a steel chair again wrapped with a soldering wire, and you guys can see how it looks. Um, it kind of, you know, it will fall and stuff like that, but it's locked in place pretty good. Again, you can stick this on anything, guys. You can stick this on sledgehammers. You can stick it on any weapon you want to. You can stick it on anything. You can even put it around a table, as you guys can see back here. I didn't want to wrap the full thing up because I didn't know how much I would have. I wanted to have enough to, you know, uh, use in the pick fed, and I wanted to have enough left over. I didn't want to spend $9 on another roll, so I, do, I did want to leave quite a bit left for, you know, matches and stuff, and I'll probably reuse it, you know, since it's pretty much reusable. I mean, I, I could probably, if I wanted to, you know, take it off the chair, I could unwrap it and whatever, and it would be usable to use somewhere else, but there is the chair with the barbed wire on it. I think it works pretty freaking swell, and then the last thing that we have, guys, is the table, and I'll get all these weapons off so you guys can sort of see here. Um, there is the table, and I just put two strips, obviously, um, I'd probably put it all over it. Maybe you could tape it down like in the corner or underneath and you could sort of have it like zigzagging back and forth and stuff like that if you wanted to. But that is the table and you guys of course saw the chair, you saw the 2x4, you saw the kendo stick. And again, this literally works for any weapon. If you wanted to wrap up your championship belt, you could literally, this actually is a sick ass idea, you take barbed wire or this soldering wire, you could wrap, wrap up a championship belt, hot glue it or glue it to the championship belt. You could make custom barbed wire on the title belt if you wanted to, make it look like that House of Hardcore title or whatever the hell that uh, Tommy Dreamer was toting around that one time. But that is an amazing fig hack by my boy Prime Wrestling. And a uh, huge shout out to him again. I do have many, many ideas for custom WWE figure weapons and figure hacks and action figure weaponry and hardcore match type stuff that we're going to be doing very soon because again I was very inspired by Prime inspired by Prime to make this video and to show off all, how he does all this stuff and he taught me a lot and I guess uh, I wanted to show you guys how we did it real quick before we end the video I want to show you guys how we do it so I, I sort of you know get a lengthy spot like this right here you know as long as I want I'll just go right here for the video's sake we take this, it's literally just with the scissors, you snip it off, there's uh, there's your one length of barbed wire. So you see it right here, it's kind of hard to see, I hope you guys can see that. Um, we have the one strip, we're going to make two strips about that size. So we make our second strip right here, and then we take our two strips, we're going to, obviously these aren't the exact size, but anyways, this is exact. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it, I'm going to zoom in right here and show you exactly um, the exact process I do, I take the end right here and then I literally just twist it like this. You're twisting it and you're taking both your hands and so you're, with this hand you're twisting that way and with this hand you're twisting that way. So you're literally just twisting and you keep going and you keep going and you guys can see it sort of makes that twisted up effect because they're obviously dwindling together and then there you go you have your piece of barbed wire and then you would go in and you would just wrap up whatever you wanted with that piece of barbed wire right there and it works beautifully i i love this hack again huge shout out to prime for this you guys should follow him on instagram check out his youtube channel and if you wanted to take it i have a chair right here it really doesn't uh it's not going to make it all the way around but you you guys get the idea there um, you wrap it around enough, and then you have a you have a barbed wire chair. But that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. You know, I, I wanted to show you guys that soldering wire. I wanted to show you exactly how you can make your own figure weapons and stuff like that. How you can add some spice to your pick feds. You can add some spice to any weapon that Mattel has given us, or maybe you want to make some custom weapons of your own. I know Undisputed Brotherhood's made a custom weapons from complete scratch before, and that was one of his bigger videos just starting out. So there's a lot of creative stuff that you can do, and um, um, this is definitely a really cool fig hack to, to entice your pick feds, your action figure matches, or your weapons. I think that I may even make a collection of these custom weapons. Just keep using this soldering wire, order some more, and have like a whole section of my WWE action figure weapons with barbed wire around it. Like you could take anything Mattel gives us and just wrap barbed wire and you could get the freaking buggy for Christ's sakes from the ringside hardcore pack, wrap it up in barbed wire and call it a day. But that's pretty much it for today's video guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Be on the lookout for more WWE figure weapon hacks and stuff like that. Again, like I said, we're going to be making a few here this week possibly. I'm waiting on some stuff to come in the mail and everything. Also grinding on Vindication episode 
episode 12 for you guys, so be on the lookout for that at the end of the week. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.